All right. Hello, everybody. Um, I've been searching a lot online for info on creating a blank audio region in Logic Pro. And <clears throat> it's pretty easy with MIDI, but I haven't found any good solutions for just creating some blank audio space. Um, the scenario that I had was I had a track. I'm going to uh, kind of create this here as if it were still an issue, but I kind of had a track that I had trimmed too short. Um, I like to snap things to the grid to make it easier to move around and make sure they um, fit. Uh, and when they don't line up with a one of the bars then or a beat, then um, that doesn't work. So I had one that I had trimmed too short by accident, and I was wanting to just put enough space at the beginning of it um, to line it up to one of the grid lines. And um, it was harder than I thought, and maybe there's an easier way, and feel free to comment um, if you know of a better way. But everywhere that I found, the, the best solution was, well, people had said to copy blanks based off of another track, like in between vocals or in the same track, if there was a blank space or whatever. And I didn't really want any of that because it's not really silence. It's, there's noise in there and it, you know, it could affect the sound. Um, and so that's one of the other arguments was, well, you could just record on the track, um, some blank space and, you know, and then merge it, that kind of thing or join it, glue it, whatever you want to call it. Um, but, um, the same argument was that you, you're not really getting silence, you're getting noise. And someone had said you could switch to your built-in input and get silence, which I haven't tried. It sounds like it works, but that seems like a lot of trouble because Core Audio, Core Audio, <laughs> Core Audio has to reinitialize and all those things. And it's just, I don't know, it seems like a pain. Um, so what I came up with um, was you can, uh, there's a, just kind of a little workaround, but you can record a blank space like say um, right here. But what, I, what I've done is I've created, recorded some blank space using any input that I want to. Uh, and then you can join two audio regions. And if they're not continuous, um, logic will automatically put empty or blank space in between, um, silence, uh, in between to make, to make it continuous. So that's kind of been my workaround. So what I did was I just highlighted the track. So I'm on this, uh, uh, guitar rhythm track here and, um, I just highlighted it or activated it. Uh, sorry, actually, I'm on the solo guitar left, that one. Uh, and just make sure I have a valid input selected and then hit record. And just record for a half a second or however long, I mean, just quickly. And then what you can do is join the two by highlighting both. Um, the shortcut is Command J. I don't even know what's on the menu. I think uh, join, yeah, regions. So, but the shortcut is Command J. So I'm going to hit that. And it's going to say non-contiguous audio regions require the creation of a new audio file. Uh, and so then you say create, and it's going to create a new file, but the new file is going to have a, a lot of empty space. So then what you could do is just trim it down to the block, and you're good to go. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm just creating this video because I couldn't find anything about it online. Um, and I think this is the easiest way that I've found. So uh, let me know if this is helpful for you or if you know of a better way, I'm always happy to learn uh, a better way. By the way, another quick trip, uh, <laughs> quick tip uh, is these naming, this drives me nuts, uh, just, just a quick thing. Since I merged, it created a, the file called uh, merged. You can hit, uh, I think it's control shift option in and it will um, name it whatever the track's name. You can also right click on it and say name and color, name region by track. And that'll just make the name of all your files. You could even like, if you have a ton of files, you can highlight them all and do that. Uh, and any ones that aren't named the same thing as their track name will get renamed. So that's a freebie at the end of this one, uh, just cause I thought of it when it so, uh, showed that new name anyways. Yeah. Again, uh, if you have any questions, comments, uh, let me know. And, uh, hopefully this has been helpful. Thanks.